Okay, we're going to do the one that has Leslie Leifbray, I think that's how you say it. Um, she has more, so if you guys are interested in finding more of her design, she has a bunch of them that you guys can go ahead and you can purchase or print out. They're really great and she has a bunch of them. So if you guys are more, if you students, if you're more interested in creating more or different designs, you can go to her website and find those out. So what we're going to do first is we are going to start by gluing the two smaller pieces that look like trapezoids together. So you'll notice there's numbers on them. They're really teeny tiny. But it says one, two, three, four. So we're going to go one, two, three, four and glue those together. So I'm going to put glue on all those tabs. You might make a sticky mess. That's okay. I'm going to take the other half and line it up. Like so. Making sure to pinch when they're lined up. Pinch, 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 and pinch. Push those together really well. And we'll give it, you know, it's 10 seconds to dry. So I'll just leave it like that. And then we can work on the bottom the bottom these two pieces are going to meet each other and glue so what we're going to do is I'm going to put glue on all the tabs making sure to add a lot And then we're going to find where number six is. There's a little dot and you're going to line it up with number six. Now that this is dried for a little bit and you're going to glue and then glue the next one and kind of go in a circle gluing. Make sure to count to 10. I did not count to 10 for the first one. some more glue down. If you see the glue drying, put some more glue down because you want this to seal really well. Right, next one, put some glue down, the next one, the next one, might have to do a little re-gluing here, and the last one. Looks like one and two came up a little bit, so I'll just put some more glue down. Let's squeeze that together there. inside. Okay. Come on. My fingers are sticky. There we go. And then the last one we're gonna glue this last tab. And pinch it together.
This one's probably a way harder one than the first one we did, but... There we go. We have the completed gem. Oops, I squished a push too hard. Okay, there you are. Now we have that one done. I'm just gonna do a little touch up on it. There we go. Okay, great. Now we can go on to the next one, the last page. This is from minico.co.uk. They also have a bunch of these gems if you want to print out more. They have some for sale and some for free. Um, they, You can go there and look for them. So I'm going to start with probably the easier one, which I think is this one, which only has two pieces. This one I made orange. I think it was the one on the bottom. So. Again, we're going to start with the top of it, put glue on everything, remember at least count to 10. And then put glue on all the tabs. Should do that first. All those tabs. This is definitely going to be a test of your patience. And then you're going to go ahead, I'm going to put glue on the inside because that seems to help a little bit. Making sure they glue well. Sorry, at any point, go ahead and pinch. and rotate and rotate come on and then the last one I'm just going to put a bunch of glue last tab and we'll do a pinch and glue come on these tabs are so tiny do your best. It's probably a lot easier using white glue, like stuff, Elmer's, because you can, you have more malleability with it and it stays longer. There we go. Close enough. It's not perfect. But we got it. Mm -hmm. There we go. Now we got the last one. And then the other two are just going to be the same thing. You're going to glue all of this together. Same thing. Glue on the tabs and then place it together. I think for the most part you guys understand, but the easiest one is definitely this one, which is this pattern. Um, easier to glue, not as complicated. So whatever one you find fun to do, these are definitely time consuming. Take your time while you're making them, and I wish you guys luck. I hope you guys do well creating your own three-dimensional gems. If you want to make more and you really enjoy it, use these two resources that I talked about where I got the two gems. Um, sets of gems. They're really wonderful. So thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you guys again soon.